Uh, at the moment, we are standing in front of my home, number 37, which when I originally came here in, when I was 15 year old was a shop. We have every shop you could think of. Yes. We had hardware shops, We're dressmaking shops, um, fruit shops. Mine was a fruit and vegetable That's shop right. with um, general dealer. Being a mining village, people just stayed in the village and they got everything they needed. Maybe had a day out to Newcastle on, on a Saturday, which was a treat probably for most of them. Um, but that's why we had, well, we just had everything we needed here. Oh, there was a cobbler's along that's there That's right, well. just along this street. Uh, no one mentioned the picture hall a lot, but it, it was a main thing in High Spend. It was well used, and it's right down, just at the end of this street, you see. Well, there's a house built there now, and they eventually made the next door building into a curtain factory, which was the original venture offices. But the, the garage for the venture buses was down by the new housing estate, that, that, that's going to be a new housing estate. Since the shops have closed, people have renovated them into flats, houses. I mean, I, when my mother shut the shop in 1980, I renovated it into um, a room. The shop became a room. The, Where sorry. the um, Chinese... Um, yard is there was a wooden hut there and there was a lady called Mrs Mannion she had a milliner's oh, yeah. place there she sold everything I, when I was a little girl I used to save her my pocket money for Christmas yeah. and buy Christmas presents off her That's right. she sold everything B lovely hats she was a uh -huh. milliner and, and ribbons the, and the shop well you couldn't swing well you couldn't swing a cat in it it was so small but she used to go to the warehouses and bring things out for anybody that wanted anything, you see. Yes, it a was. lovely place to be Aye. a child, yes. Yes, it's true. Yeah. And my father liked moving houses, so by the time we got in here, which I spent the rest of my life on, we'd lived in five houses in High Spen. <laughs> I'll just say that I've never moved out the house I was born in, and my house is just in Watson Street, behind this street at the end, near where the store used to be. I've been there all this time. I was born in the house, yeah. yeah. My grandmother bought it and then things just went on from there. And we there. had three sweet shops, didn't we, along here? Oh, we did. Sweets. Yes. And an ice cream parlour. So, uh, so we didn't do too badly. No, we didn't. Mm -hmm.